1666, Seraphir was hanged for witchcraft. Fact. But ever since she was executed, she's been possessing people, turning them into killers to take revenge on the town. It's like the nursery rhyme. Yeah, yeah. Before the witch's final breath, she found a way to cheat her death by cutting off her cursed hand. She kept her grip upon our land. She reaches from beyond the grave to make good men her wicked slaves. Yes, exactly. Don't you see what's happening to us? This is all proof. Shadyside isn't just some hotbed for psychos. All these massacres are connected to Sarah Fear. The witch's curse is real. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. Hi, doing well, how are you? I'm great, thanks for asking. And thank you so much for doing this. Uh, first of all, as a huge horror fan, I really enjoyed this trilogy and you guys did an amazing job. Had to deal with a lot of killers. Uh, which one do you think was the scariest? Which one freaked you out the most? Uh, let's start mm. with Kiana. I would say um, the Nightwing killer with the axe and the burlap mm -hmm. sack and the lumberjack coat like he was just so fast and Lloyd the stunt performer who portrayed that character was so amazing with his physicality that like he was so fast and so big I think yes. for sure for me that's the scariest one run <laughs> yeah. Killers. Yeah. yeah same for me I feel like Nightwing was the uh the scariest one to me just because like Kiana said he's just so big and I mean, it's just too believable. Like he's walking around with the lumberjack coat with the axe. It's like, yeah, okay, this might actually be real. Like yeah. it's it's different when the guy's wearing the skull mask and he's got a cloak on, but when it's a guy just mm -hmm. with an axe, that's a little scarier yeah. to me. I thought skull mask yeah. was so scary. I think <laughs> it's because the knife is so small. True. <laughs> that I was like, you know what I mean? Like it's a really personal kill. It's a real per yeah. exactly. True. Like he has to really and you have to do it so repeatedly. Yeah. Ooh. And that's so scary. Jeez. Yeah. These are this is how my brain works. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the horror movies. Uh, I get it now. I get it. Do you guys enjoy horror movies? Uh, did you catch the references when you read the script? Uh, let's uh, yeah I'm a huge time. I'm a huge huge horror fan and um I'm a huge horror fan and it, yeah there were a lot of references reading the script and then there were like visual things that when we got to set I'd be like you guys this yeah. is like yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street yeah, yeah do you guys sure. see the the blood trails on the ground this is like Nightmare on Elm Street yeah I it feel was like very fun working with Olivia and Fred also like they're super like familiar with the horror world so I feel like it was like we had our own personal like guide of like <laughs> this is this and, and and Lee as well of course but like yeah. it yeah. was really helpful and now I just want to watch like all the old classics to you know find those little easter eggs which I feel like we have so many in our oh, films yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah I feel like going back and watching some old horror movies you'll def I'll definitely be able to pick up on like oh wow this yeah. scene's inspired by that or you know some situations like that for sure yeah, yeah. Okay, how about uh, horror literature? Uh, do you read Goosebumps or Fear Street books? Uh, which title is your favorite? Um, I used to read Goosebumps. Uh, every book day, I would just get a Goosebumps book. It looked the best, and uh, I would read that. But I'm in the Fear Street movie, though, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read the book, but in the movie. Um, in the movie. Yeah, same. I loved Goosebumps growing up. Um, there was also a, a show like a Goosebumps TV show that I watched as a kid. Oh my gosh. So yeah, yeah it was cool. Like, you know, the, like, like Benji said, the covers of the books were the same with the Fear Street books. Like they're, yeah, the covers they're really incredible. cool, very classic. And as a kid, Goosebumps was where, where it was at. Yeah. I read a lot of Goosebumps too. A lot of Goosebumps. Yeah. They're okay. the best. Uh, thank you so much for doing this again and have a great day. Thank, thank you. You thank too. You. Are you okay? That was 1978, 5,937 days ago. Shady Side, a history of horror has earned it the nickname Killer Capital USA. What's happening to us? These massacres happen in Shady Side over and over. You 
were the only person who survived. How do we end this? You have to go back to where it all started. 1666. The devil has come to feast on our misdeeds. If they want a witch. Witches! Witches! I will curse this tomb. Forever. Hi guys, how are you? Hello, hi. hi. Hey, how's, how you doing, man? Uh, I'm great, thanks for asking. And thank you so much for doing this. Uh, as a huge horror fan, I really enjoyed this trilogy. Uh, you guys did an amazing job. Uh, do you enjoy horror movies as well? Uh, did you catch the references and visual cues? Um, I probably didn't catch all the references. Uh, I realized that that I have not seen a lot of horror movies. I'm looking at the wall behind you, and I don't know. I've never seen Jaws, um, so that that'll tell you about how few horror films I have seen. Uh there is a new one called come play you should see that <laughs> it's it's a great one uh, how about you daryl uh, i think this was your first horror project right yeah no it was it, it uh and i i'm sort of like uh what gillian said i'm not the biggest horror fan i have seen jaws and it and it uh ruined my life slightly um i i now Every time I'm in the water, I'm like, he's he's here somewhere. <laughs> Jaws is here next to me, ready ready to take me out. But um, um, I think you could teach us a couple of things about horror, Ozan, because you've seen you got it covered in the bag. I need to I need to brush up on my skills before I speak yeah. to you because I, I I'm a I'm a rookie when it comes to the horror films. Uh, did you enjoy being in one? I loved being it. in. Yeah, I, I only want to do horror. I want everything to be a horror now. Everything. <laughs> just just give me all the horrors. I want to run and jump and scream and get thrown through windows. I, yeah, it's, I had I had a blast. I, I don't know if everybody else had a blast. <laughs> How about you, Ashley? Are you a horror fan? Um, I'm not. I've, I've seen Jaws. I mean, who has <laughs> um, Me. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, um, but but I'm not typically that big a, a, a horror fan. But but I but I do love uh, films that can that can change me or put me in a different place, uh, like thrillers especially. Uh, okay, um, which part of the trilogy was your favorite? This one. Mm. Oh wow! I, I you know I, I I couldn't pick it. It it did really feel like we were making the same film every day, even though it, there, it goes, which is a weird thing to say because it goes through three time periods and with different characters, but it, it, every day on set, it just felt like we were making the same film. And I'll say, I also, there were moments where I forgot we were making a horror film. Mm. Like the, the horror element of it just was there all the time. And it, it's nice when things are extreme, when emotions are extreme, that's what it, it offered every scene. But th there was a moment where suddenly there was a lot of, blood on set and a hand was missing and you know, things like this and i was like oh right oh yeah horror film right <laughs> okay guys uh, thank you so much for doing this uh, and have a great day you as well Thanks, you have thank a good one